Hi guys, this is Sweet Paws Thrift and with my next thrifting haul. Um, a little bit to show you today, so I'm going to go ahead and get started up here. So these I bought at a yard sale. It was a community yard sale and they're both um, twin sheet sets. They're Disney um, by Ethan Allen. I believe I paid $10 for both of them. Um, but yeah, they're brand new. This one does have some staining, like right there. Even though it's never been used, there is some some stain and a little bit of dirt. But I was just looking at these original prices and it was pretty crazy that they've never used them. And I think they paid $119. That's how much it was on sale. And same thing with this one. Let's see. This was also bought on sale. And it was bought for $100, but it was originally $129. So that was pretty good buys. Got some yoga socks for $0.75, because why not? Uh, this sale, I had originally um, started digging in one of the boxes because it was pretty much a digging kind of yard sale. And she, the lady there saw me digging in one of the stationary boxes. And she said, whatever in there... It's probably going to be cheap, like $0.05 cents or $0.10. Cents. So, I, so I already started digging, like, even more after she said that. So I got some stationery here. Let me move those out of the way. So just from this brand, Crane. So just got a few cases of those. Just some old papers. Some printer paper. This one I had thought was a jewelry box. So I picked it up. It was inside a big moving box. And, but when I pulled it open, it turned out it was more stationary. But it was pretty fancy kind of stationary. So I still picked it up and she said, this box is going to be like 10 cents. So I was like sold. But my niece and nephew were also with me garage selling. And... They were like, Auntie, there's some jewelry over there. And you know that got me to halt my tracks from digging in that um, stationary box. And I immediately went over to a little basket of jewelry that was already being dug through. So I did find this. Just a little sort of Pandora style bracelet. Still new with the box. And I did find some jewelry. Not all of this I got at that time because I did come back a second time just to see what they might have brought out again. And I did pick up more jewelry. So I don't really remember which one I got in the first round versus the second round. But here's what I got. So this one was a dollar. And it's just this gold tone, but it is sterling. It is marked, I believe, inside this this link right here so it's marked 925 it's pricey partial mark right there this one I know this one was one of the ones I got on the second round because there is um, three other people hovering over the jewelry box that the lady had brought out and said that she's still going through the jewelry so she's putting out more slowly so they're pretty much hovering over her like even going through the box as she was looking at it so I decided to leave and come back a second time. And so this is what I found on the second round. These are 14 karat earrings. And those I got for a dollar. Um, these ones, I actually think the ring was the $2 one. So that was an amethyst sterling ring. And this one was in this bag for 25 cents. I believe this is sterling. Um, but I cannot find any marks on it whatsoever. It just looks very high quality and very heavy piece of, uh, these are pretty heavy earrings. This is one of the ones I got on the first round was this sterling. And I don't know if that's coral, but it is marked right there. Mexico 925. And then I kind of got a matching earring to that. So these are also sterling. They are clip-on earrings. So I got the hallmark right there. Those were 75 cents. 
for 25 cents. Another one that I got on the second round. These are 14 karat gold. Um, just little earrings. And lastly, from that sale, I got these for a dollar. And they're more sterling earrings. Moving on to this sale. So these two pieces. So I went to an estate sale. It's probably the longest I've ever waited in line. And I told my dad who was with me that we are never waiting that long ever again for a estate sale. Because it was pretty much this company's first time opening since the COVID uh, pandemic happened. So they're being very cautious with how many people they're laying inside the house. And unfortunately, we weren't the first group to go in. So the waiting game was super long. But eventually when we got in, I found this pretty cool pen. It's like a computer board pen. And I found the exact one for going for about 120 online, which is pretty crazy. I think this was like $2 at this sale. And then I found this uh, necklace. It is sterling and so is this uh, pendant. And they only had it for $8. So I thought that was a pretty good find. And just around the corner, which I was kind of sad we didn't go to this yard sale before the estate sale. Um, so after that estate sale, we went to this yard sale. Um, I immediately saw some jewelry. And I started looking through, started seeing some sterling pieces and picking them up. And it was pretty affordable, as you can see. I think she said bracelets were a dollar. So I found this sterling and onyx bracelet. This one is sterling and gold tone, little dolphin bracelet, sterling earrings. I got a 14 karat Tinkerbell little charm. This one is a sterling, I think it's like a lizard or salamander, probably lizard. And then I got this Skagen watch, it's a little scratched up on the crystal. But still for a dollar, that wasn't bad. I actually got one more piece from that sale. You probably won't see it because my mom already took it. She wanted to borrow it. And it is a David Yerman little beaded um, adjustable bracelet with, I think, onyx and hematite. So that was also a fun find for a dollar. This one here I got with this. I paid $10 total. Um, five for the coin and five for the necklace. The chain right here is 14 karat. The pendant is not, it's just costume. And this is just a, um, I believe it's a silver clad, um, $1 Twin Towers and Freedom Tower Memorial coin. This sale, um, I got these Coach Coasters. That was $5. And then I got this Kate Spade bracelet, still new with tags, so I paid up for that. That was $10. This stuff here I got from a yard sale for a dollar total. So you got a sterling and garnet little charm. And this is a, I believe, 14? Let me see. Yep, it's marked 585, so 14 karat. I believe this is an anklet, though. Moving on to here, so um, you guys might recognize my ta these tags from um, other hauls. So I went to my local thrift store again, and they had put out more jewelry. So all this, I paid the price that's on these tags. They did not have a half off sale this time. So first off, I got this vintage Mickey Mouse piggy bank. I think that was $4 maybe. And in the jewelry, they had a lot of good pieces of jewelry, and luckily no one was really looking at it. So for $5, I got this Silpata little crystal necklace, sort of lariat style. This one is a Cabby um, branded necklace. It's pretty long. It's marked right there, Cabby. has a sort of antique inspired design and I think these chains are removable 
And you can also wear this as a brooch. So that was five. Here's another cabbie, a little padlock necklace. And this key actually works to unlock this lock. That one was $5 as well. This one was probably the one that still baffles me. It was $5, but I've never heard of this maker and I cannot find any information on this maker either. So there's both sides. But yeah, for $5, it's a pretty nice piece. I don't think it's sterling, but still a pretty cool piece. This necklace, it's a 10 strand pearl necklace and it has a 14 karat clasp. That was $5. And this one's a single stranded, but it is also 14 karat. However, I think they added this, this whole part right here because you can see there's the little original clasp right here and then it would attach to this little piece back here. So all that stuff in between was added later. So I'm just gonna take that off. And that was $2. Got this gold tone uh, sterling ring. And that was $2. This one's a Juicy Couture charm bracelet for $2. These are 10 karat earrings. Those are three. These ones kind of look like Larimar stones, but I don't quite think they feel cold to the touch. So I don't know if they're plastic. I don't know, but those are real pearls and I believe this could be sterling chain, but it is unmarked on the clasp, but that was $3. This one I really liked. It's just a blue bead with sterling uh, beads as well and a sterling pendant, but the clasp is really nice. Has that, I don't know if that's a blue topaz or aquamarine, I don't know but that was $5. I got this ring, I have to test it. Those are real pearls. It looks pretty old in style, but it has no mark on it, but it was $2. So I'm gonna add that to my gold testing pile. And I got this bracelets because one of these is sterling. If I could see this one right here is sterling so it has a little marking right there so that was two dollars uh, moving to this sale i probably spent ten dollars actually this one came from a different sale these two um so ten dollars so i got this stitch phone holder this one was actually free it's just an empty burberry box Got a Dior, I think it's a perfume case. And I got these headbands with it as well. There's some Nike, there's a Lululemon. And I got some other stuff. This jewelry was in the free pile, it's just some costume jewelry. I got this uh, Texas Instruments calculator. And this I got with these other things here. But also the jewelry I got for that $10 are these two sterling chains. Um, this one I thought could have been gold, but I think it's probably sterling because the gold's kind of rubbing off. Uh, same with this. I thought it could have been gold, but I think it might be sterling with jade. Um, one of the better finds there though was this multi-strand sort of Native American liquid silver necklace it is Mark Sterling right there on both sides so moving on to this stuff here I paid five dollars total so I got this Game Boy game a little silver brooch this one is gonna go in my gold testing pile it kind of looks like that Black Hills gold so I have to test that and then I found this one it's got little gold nuggets very tiny tiny pieces nothing super heavy or anything like that but i thought it was pretty cool so you can see some of the flakes in there i just thought that was pretty interesting so i picked that up and lastly it was this stuff let me go to the other side 
So this one was at an estate sale. I think I paid maybe $10 total. So I got this vintage Disneyland um, child's hat. This one I believe could be sterling. I can't find no hallmarks and it is, it does have a little broken. Um, the closure here does not close, but that was pretty unique. And then I also got these with it. I believe these are marked um, 585, so 14 karat. And this one's another one to go in my testing pile. I thought it could be gold, but I'm not too sure. And lastly, I went to this yard sale, paid $15 total. Um, I actually had more, there were some more rings here, but the lady, after I had gone through the jewelry, for about 15 minutes and then I brought the jewelry to her she said oh I didn't look through the jewelry I don't know if there's uh, basically anything of value in there and she she would have to research is what she said and so she basically took everything in my jewelry pile that I had except probably these earrings and this and that's what she was offering me to buy and she took everything else so I was like really I wanted the other stuff too that's why I was digging through all the jewelry and making a pile so she she uh, put the necklaces and the, the pendant back in and she was more wondering about this one which I was too and she's like do you think it's real and I'm like I'm not too sure because Tiffany is faked a lot um, I do have a few fake Tiffany pieces and so Basically, I offered $15 for all of this, and so she accepted. And so when I did get to the car, I was looking at it more closely. I was like, yes, I'm pretty sure this is fake, but it's a nice fake either way. So I'm still happy I picked this up, even though it is a fake. I could tell it's a fake um, because one of the telltale signs is the, the links aren't soldered together which all Tiffany pieces have all the links are all soldered. As you can see, they're not in this piece. So I am 100% sure that this is fake. But as you can see, it's still a nice piece. It still may be sterling silver, which is why I'm still happy about it because it is a hefty piece. It's pretty heavy. So I got that. Got a little crown pendant, sterling necklace right here. I got these pearl earrings and then I got this little sterling pendant on a leather chain so I hope you guys like this haul thanks